Oh. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Is she though? Come on, Jesse, don't be so naive. The director. Whoa. This place is huge. Crossroads. She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. I'm gonna assume. With that pillar first. I'm gonna assume no. It wasn't her, but uh, that's just my guess. Probably some demon. Demons. Log two of the foundation. Oh, that's good. Nail door monolith is her touch revere. What did it say? Reverse revere. I'll touch it in a second. Foundation pillar. Uh, the pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Frood would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within the structures, the fractal mirror in, an, in every being, given its a significant location. I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the, the oldest house sprouted. Trottier, Trottier, whatever, wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place? The place has concrete walls and rocky caverns. It's easier to see it, it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if the pillar is any more welcome here than we are. <sighs> astral copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. See report 811 1633 for full composition analysis. Whether the astral copies possesses individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Um, director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential peri to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. Refer to file blank for full report.
It's. It's. Energy gain from taking shield damage. That's new. Oh. Ley lines. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that, but that seems wrong. The esoteric world of horror's coincidence. So, what is the true relationship between the pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet attracting them, North Pole, or is it the pillar, a pr or is the pillar a product of their focused energies, a sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power? Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness its energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in D.C. to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work under su unsupervised. Uh, let's just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fierha once believed him to be. <laughs> oh, nothing up here. Touch the stone. This is the director's duty plot authorized for a single new tool upgrade. He says, Foundation Us, the Bureau. Only one is permitted. Which will you choose? So become. I only choose one. I thought I was done with these tests. Choose one. What? Um, I guess I'll left self will grant shape manipulate, right weapon will grant fracture undo. Um, just do the left. We are tweaking, cultivating the ability, you. <sighs> we should feel honored, handled. Well, I certainly feel handled. Well, this is nice. Crystal walkway.
Um. What the fuck am I supposed to do right now? Just go. Go up here, I guess. Oh, okay. Dumb. I'm dumb. Nice. Got him. Oh, I'm like, make it already, Jesus. Alright. Okay, I guess that's it. which will destroy the oldest house, the Bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. You with me? Yeah, you know. As ever I can be. Alright. So I'll go this way. To. Or we'll try to go right. Uh, okay, yeah, now I can get up here though. Nice. It all makes sense now. I don't know if I was supposed to levitate over that gap, but uh, you know, walking around seemed to do the jump. <laughs> Warehouse path. It's the path to the warehouse. This is the warehouse.
There we go. Got power to the the door, I think. Yeah, door. Complete the ritual in the warehouse. Getting ritualistic up in this bitch. Warehouse. Jeez, that's a a large structure. Complete the ritual in the warehouse. Does that go to a different area? Yeah, I think it does. What's in here? Is this huh. a bureau ID badge? Bureau That's ID so badge. Pope will definitely want to see this. Pope. Popel. Weird place to leave an ID card, but okay. Well, there's just a bunch of ID cards to fucking collect. Or... Another ID card for a cartographer. Okay. Let's research. Uh, pyramidic geometry. I've been going through my library researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts, past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicates ascent into the rational, divine realm. Inverted, it, it signifies a descent into the corporeal human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine, Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old old world patriarchy. <clears throat> it's 1964 now, and we're well past that silliness. Considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us ab about the board? They're clearly not corporeal human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien entities, but still the pyramid seems insignificant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. I don't want to listen to it. Alright. Explosive energy recovery. Okay. Weird. Here's a button that does nothing. history of the oldest house. The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the foundation. Many questions remain. Primarily the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Sh Schwartzman building in search of pre-settlement accounts of Manhattan Islands. 
from those I discovered a single relevant line uh, and there I found a tree not known to me, the devil twisted within its bark. That line taken with the fact that certain American cultures believe some trees would offer wisdom and guidance is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence, and though I am now bound to, uh, bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. Of course, there are numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Isdradil, e Isdrasil, whatever... The tree of knowledge, yaks, imix, chase. Some cultures offer blood sacrifices to trees, while others claim trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as sacrifice for the oldest house? Does the house have a, a chosen champion? Is it me? Am I the house's murderer champion? Only the director can be the house champion. Oh, there's like a way. Gonna be a way up, I'm guessing. Oh. You little bitch. Oh my gosh, there's another one apparently. <laughs> Give me health, you sons of bitches. Okay. And like, I'm guessing there's something here that I can do. Go. Got an ID tag. ID cards. Or yeah, Same ID chief. card, whatever. God damn it! More research to read. Ugh. Meteor Hill summary note per archival mandates 8A. This document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. Event summary, this paradimensional occurrence is consisted of three uh, sequential sinkholes induced by subterranean implosion revealing foreign material of magmatic qualities. Event response, a local chapter of the Youth Science League were participating uh, in an archaeological dig on the hill when the event occurred. Many boys were injured in the resulting collapse. Some touched the magma directly. Oh my god. Bureau agents arrived at the scene seven days after the incident. Samples of the lava-like material were taken. The area was quickly sealed off from the public at our recommendation. Our aim was to ensure all remnants of the material were rendered inoffensive, but the magma descended too deeply into the earth to retrieve. Foul-smelling odors were detected in the area, which were hypothesized being the dissipated elements of vapor trail left at the scene. All acquired material was delivered to Washington for examination in the Bureau's on-site laboratories. In Dexter's laboratories. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, I was like, is anything happening? Didn't make a noise. Working. It won't go any higher. I wonder if I can charge it up somehow. Charge. Charge that elevator up.
Oh. Yeah, that seems likely. <laughs> Didn't even come into the bottom part of the... Oh my god, okay, I see. I have to fucking make this thing go up and then come back down, shoot the battery, and then bring it back down. Jesus. Damn it! <laughs> now I have to redo the. J God damn, I should have went in there first. <laughs> oh, well, at least I can collect these. Alright. Jump back up. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Oops. Well. Didn't jump high enough. Okay. Call it up. Okay, I still would have had to go back down, but... Call it up and then fucking throw the battery in there. Okay. Oh, fuck. Maybe not. What the hell? I'm confused. <laughs> no, let me just grab it. How are you supposed to get back there that doesn't even make any sense to me what the fuck Can't open this door. I am... I'm confused. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> that works for me. Yeah, apparently, a bunch of these are not working. <laughs> Power cores. What do you got to say about them? After numerous attempts, I've finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines in a kind of non Aristotelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I can barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the foundation's caverns possesses such conductive qualities. 
Using stone flakes and copper wire, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of taping or tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy resources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in in invention, like the creativity that it, it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to the Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What are we at? Oh, perfect. We'll be at just the right time. That's what we at.